A judge dismissed a sex charge against a former Norfolk jail employee. We've been following this story since inmate Marlon Fuller accused James Rivers in March. Tell your sides, Katie Collette was in the courtroom today. She spoke with both Fuller and Rivers. So, Katie, what did they have to say? Nicole, Jim Rivers didn't want to speak on camera today, but he told me he feels relieved Judge Ray Desern dismissed the charges. Marlon Fuller clearly disappointed, but says he won't let what happened in the courtroom ruin the progress he's made personally since being incarcerated. After a half hour hearing, Jim Rivers walked away from Norfolk General District Court knowing he would not have to go to trial on a charge of sexually touching inmate Marlon Fuller. Rivers attorney Bruce Sams. The charges were just brought out of spite. Um, Mr. Fuller uh, was in jeopardy of uh, not being able to complete a program that would have been beneficial from him. And that program, one that teaches inmates anger management and helps them get their GED. I was never in jeopardy of getting put out of the program. I mean, I have my certificates in these folders. I have these composition books. Fuller contends if he were to be kicked out of the program, those details would be in these composition books where counselors write what happens day to day. All they have in here is all my accomplishments, really. Fuller graduated the program in May, a program Rivers helped with as the director of inmate programs. But it was back in March when Fuller says Rivers reached through a jail cell, pulled him close, and smacked his genitals. I was surprised. Um, I didn't have a, my first, my first reaction. I was just like, you know, should I hit him or, you know, should I think about this first? Or, I mean, did he do what I think he just did? You know, it just took me time to kind of think about it. But today, the judge said Fuller did not have enough evidence to convince him of Rivers' guilt. Sam's not surprised by the judge's ruling. There would have been witnesses who would have been there. I mean, it would have been incredulous that he would have just without provocation or without statements or whatever, uh, touch this person in a sexual manner. Now tonight at 6, even though the charge against Rivers was dismissed, hear why his attorney says, in a way, Fuller still won. In the newsroom, Katie Collette, 10 on your side. Now this isn't over for Jim Rivers. Two other men came forward and filed similar sex complaints against him. Those hearings are scheduled to begin in June. We will continue to cover the story.